we would be talking about one of the most beautiful countries of the world today switzerland ravishing alpine scenery glittering blue lakes emerald valleys quaint villages oozing storybook charm the soaring snow-capped peaks of the alps glaciers and picturesque lakeside hamlets imbue this landlocked nation with a fairy tale beauty bonjour hello ciao and ben back hello and welcome to our channel i say kids switzerland officially the swiss confederation is a landlocked country at the confluence of western central and southern europe A landlocked country is a country that does not have territory connected to an ocean. Do you know which is the world's largest landlocked country? Let us know in the comment section below. Hint hint, we talked about it in the series largest countries of the world. Bern is the capital of Switzerland with a stunning medieval old town hugging the croak of a river and Zurich is its largest city Switzerland is bordered by Italy to the south France to the west Germany to the north and Austria and Liechtenstein to the east The border of Switzerland has six tri points a tri point tri junction triple point or tri border area is a geographical point at which boundaries of three countries or subnational entities meet out of these two are located in rivers one undefined location in the lake of constance and the three other in high mountains switzerland is geographically divided among the swiss plateau the alps and the jura the jura is a limestone mountain range making up about 12% of Switzerland's land area. The limestone rock in the Jura is a Jurassic period rock with numerous fossils and dinosaur tracks. The name Jurassic actually refers to the Jura region where these fossils were studied at the end of the 18th century. The Jura is considered one of the most important sites for dinosaur footprints in the world. In one area near the village of Cotidou over 13000 footprints were discovered in between 2002 and 2011 Switzerland spans a total area of 41285 km square and land area of 39997 km square The Alps are a high mountain range running across the central and south of the country constituting about 60% of the country's total area the alps are a popular tourist destination and are one of the most recognizable symbols of switzerland since the 12th century a large number of dams have been built in the alps and elsewhere resulting in many artificial lakes The largest are the Silsi and the Lake of Gruer, both approximately 10 km square in extent. Also notable is Lake Dixix, withheld by Grand Dixons, the tallest gravity dam in the world. Among the high valleys of the Swiss Alps, many glaciers are found. From these originate the headwaters of several major rivers such as the Rhine, 
the end. Tikino and Ron, which flow in the four cardinal directions into the whole of Europe. The majority of the Swiss population lives in the Swiss Plateau. It has greater open and hilly landscapes, partly forested, partly open pastures, usually with grazing herds or vegetables and fruit fields, but it is still hilly. There are large lakes found here. Switzerland has more than 1500 lakes and contains 6% of Europe's freshwater stock. The largest lake is Lake Geneva in western Switzerland shared with France where it is known as Lac Liman. The population of Switzerland is around 8.75 million people. Switzerland has maintained a firm policy of armed neutrality. It has not fought an international war since 1815. Some of the cities of Switzerland rank among the highest in the world in terms of quality of life. Zurich, Geneva and Basel. However, these cities have some of the highest costs of living in the world. 48 of Switzerland's mountains are 4,000 meters above sea in altitude or higher. At 4,634 meters, Monte Rosa is the highest mountain. At 4,605 meters is the highest point in Switzerland. The Matterhorn at 4,478 meters is often regarded as the most famous mountain. At the foot of this mighty peak lies the charming village of Zermatt. To preserve the air quality and peaceful ambience, motorized vehicles are banned in the village. The section of the Bernese Alps above the deep glacial Lotterbrunnen Valley containing 72 waterfalls is well known for the Jungfrau waterfall which is 4,158 meters high. Ego and Monch and the many picturesque valleys in the region. The Rhine Falls are the Europe's and Switzerland's largest waterfalls. The Rhine Falls are 150 meters wide. The deepest point in Lake Maggiore is 79 meters below sea level. Within Switzerland, there are two small enclaves. Guzingen belongs to Germany. Campione d'Italia belongs to Italy. Switzerland has no exclaves in any other country. Switzerland is situated in a relatively technologically active area. Although the city of Basel was completely destroyed in 1356 by an earthquake, the largest historical seismic event in Central Europe. Let's see some of the natural world heritage sites in Switzerland. One of the most popular things to do in the beautiful Bernese Oberland is the train journey to Jungfrojic, the top of Europe, with an observation terrace and scientific observatory perched at 3,454 meters. 
Other popular walks include Panorama Way to the sunny, south-facing First Slope. People love to explore the high altitude trail from Hollenstein to Brendeck through the fields of flowers, alpine pastures, and woodlands in the Lotterbrunnen Valley. Picturesque Grindelwald is a glacier village in the Jungfrau region which makes a great base for adventures into the surrounding mountains. It nestles at the base of snow cloaked mountains. Towering above this alpine valley is the tiara shaped Wetterhorn and the sheer north face of the Eiger, one of the planet's most dramatic and difficult climbs. Between the mountains lie Grindelwald's two Clinton glaciers. For the best views, Fallhorn at 2,681 meters offers breathtaking panoramas of the giant peaks. Nestled between Lake Tun to the west and Lake Brines to the east, Interlaken is one of the Switzerland's most popular attractions. Imagine a sparkling blue lake surrounded by mountains. A car-free medieval old town, covered bridges, waterfront promenades, frescoed historic buildings, and sun-splashed plazas with bubbling fountains. No wonder Lucerne is a top spot for tourists. One of the city's most famous landmarks is the Chapel Bridge, built in the 14th century. In a small park lies the famous Lion Monument, a poignant sculpture of a dying lion, which honors the heroic death of Swiss guards during the attack on the Tuileries in the French Revolution. For beautiful views of Lucerne, the Alps and the lake, Rigi is a famous lookout point. Lausanne, near Geneva, boasts lovely views over the surrounding region and the lake, with the Alps rising in the distance. On the shores of Lake Geneva near Montre Chillon Castle has inspired artists and writers for centuries. Founded in 1914, Swiss National Park in the Engadine Valley is the oldest reserve in the Alps. The park sits right on the border with Italy and encompasses more than 170 square kilometers of flower-dotted hollows, fast-flowing rivers and limestone cracks. The scenery is especially dramatic in winter when the forested mountains are covered in a blanket of snow and the views from the cross-country ski trails are stunning. A ride on this train means panoramic seats that overlook unspoiled mountain landscapes and the views are just as magical in summer as they are in winter. The Grand Canyon, the Swiss Grand Canyon also known as Ruinalta is a deep gorge surrounded by expansive meadows and forested cliffs. And is one of the most beautiful areas in Switzerland. Let's get to know some interesting facts about Switzerland. Chocolate has been made in Switzerland since the 18th century. A breakthrough was the invention of solid milk chocolate in 1875. The Swiss are the world's largest consumers of chocolate. The Swiss franc is the official currency of Switzerland. Half of the luxury watches produced in the world come from Switzerland. The Large Hadron Collider is the world's largest particle physics laboratory in Switzerland. It has been established under the ground. Built by the European Organization for Nuclear Research, the world's largest high-energy particle collider sits inside a 27-kilometer 
long tunnel near, near the Swiss city of Geneva. Switzerland has enough underground bunker capacity that it can hide its entire population in case of a nuclear war. The world's largest nuclear shelter, the Sonnenberg, is in Switzerland. The Sonnenberg Tunnel, it is called. It can house up to 20,000 individuals for an extended period of time during a nuclear emergency. A giant three-legged chair in Geneva, Switzerland is dedicated to the opposition of using landmines. It is known as the broken chair. Heavy snowfall in Switzerland during the night time will often accumulate enough snow on the roads to make them unusable. However, the roads will always be cleaned by 8 in the morning. Switzerland is one of the two countries in the world to have a square flag. Do you know which one is the other? Hint hint, it is the smallest country in the world. You guessed it right. It is the Vatican City. Swiss universities have produced numerous Nobel laureates and the most of these Nobel Prize winners are scientists. The very first Nobel Peace Prize was awarded to Jean Henry Dunant, a Swiss in 1901. He is the founder of the International Committee of the Red Cross. The world's smallest toolbox, that is, the Swiss army knife, was invented by Carl Elsener. There are four different models available and they can have a barometer, altimeter and even a USB memory card. The World Wide Web was invented by Tim Berners-Lee in Switzerland in 1989. The plane named Solar Impulse 2 is the first plane in the world to have completed 40,000 kilometers without a single drop of fuel. It is powered by solar energy. Switzerland have four national languages which are French, German, Italian, and Romance. Switzerland is one of the world leaders in recycling and waste management. The Swiss successfully separate and recycle organic and recyclable waste while converting the rest to energy. Moreover, Switzerland provides nearly all carbon dioxide friendly electricity to its citizens. Switzerland contains 3,100 miles of railway network. Switzerland has more than 1,000 glaciers. The LH Glacier in the is the largest glacier in Switzerland with an area of 117 km square. Switzerland has mandatory military service. To this day, all male Swiss citizens over the age of 18 are expected to serve in the Swiss Army with regular refresher courses, continuing until the age of 44. Military training camps are therefore a common sight across Switzerland. Female citizens can also choose to volunteer. However, Switzerland also has a law in place which allows one to pay the military service exemption tax in case they are not willing or are not able to perform the service. Emmentaler or Emmental cheese is also known as Swiss cheese. It originated in the 13th century near Bern. A single Emmental cheese weighs about 120 kgs 
and requires approximately 1,500 liter of fresh milk for its production. In Switzerland, it is illegal to keep just one guinea pig. They must be kept in pairs. Teaching in Switzerland is one of the highest paid occupations. A person working as a teacher in Switzerland typically earns around 95,600 per year. It means around US dollar 1,3200 per year. Switzerland does not have a president as chief of state. Instead, it is governed by a seven-member council, and council members rotate in one-year terms as federal president. The personal bodyguards of Pope are called the Swiss Guard, and they really come from Switzerland. They are not, I'm sorry, they are recruited from the Catholic cantons of Switzerland. They wear the same particular uniforms. that they did the day it was started in 16th century at an altitude of 2126 meters the swiss village of juf is the highest permanently inhabited village in europe of the 800 or so films produced each year by india's movie making industry bollywood More of them are shot in Switzerland than in any other country. If you live in Switzerland, then don't expect to get too much done on a Sunday, as many everyday activities are actually prohibited by law. This includes mowing the lawn, doing any noisy DIY. and even hanging out your laundry and it's not just sundays that are protected making too much noise between 10 pm and 6 am is also forbidden during the week swiss train routes are some of the most scenic in the world on the journey up to the highest point of europe which sits at an eye watering 3454 meters above sea level one can lap up spectacular views from a popular observatory and enjoy plenty of mountain fun that's it for now hope you like the video in that case please don't forget to like share and subscribe till next time keep watching i say kids make healthier choices be kind to people you meet and keep watching icicles keep learning keep growing thank you very much have a wonderful wonderful day